Hey, welcome guys to uh, another radio video and this uh, one is about a very seldom used band here in North America. We don't hear much there, but it uh, doesn't mean there's nothing to listen to. Uh, it's the 120 meter band. This is the um, lowest frequency shortwave band that uh, exists for international broadcast. Um, one of the main, uh, I would say one of the main reasons for this band is mostly for tropical region communication. So if you leave, live near the equator, you'll probably hear more stations than I do here in Canada, for example. Uh, there used to be one American station, I believe it was WWCR, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, if it's not, you can correct me if anyone uh, thinks it's not right. But if I believe it was WWCR that uh, used to be somewhere on 2.3 MHz. And the one that was, it was somewhere in the 120 meter band. So. Um, 120 meters is from 2.300 up to 2.495 kilohertz. So like I said, it's mostly a tropical band. So it has, uh, in North America, especially if you live really uh, up north, like here in Canada, um, you'll probably won't hear too much. And what you'll hear will probably be pretty weak. If you live near the equator or in a tropical region, you probably hear a lot more than me on this frequency band. And one of the biggest problems when you live in an apartment or in a big city is, of course, the noise level. This band is very noisy. So I'll tune around, but I don't think there's uh, anything to listen to. Uh, AM mode, of course, for uh, international broadcast. Uh, I'll put it at upper sideband here, and the reason why I do that is because it's easier to hear if there's a little signal or carrier very weak in the noise. Of uh, course, this is a uh, digital signal from uh, some kind of uh, broadcast. Um, it's not a radio station per se, it's really a utility signal. This is some kind of digital signal, a utility signal. So, really nothing to listen to here for me. And so it stops at uh, 2.495. On 2.5 is uh, WWV from uh, Fort Collins, Colorado, and also WWVH in Hawaii. So uh, this is a really quick look because uh, in most regions you probably won't hear much. Uh, it requires also good antennas to listen to this band and listen. Um, basically, on this band, uh, except for WWCR that used to use it. Um, I don't recall ever, ever hearing any stations there. So uh, maybe you've received stations or maybe you are closer to the equator. Uh, give us some comments of what you're hearing on uh, that band. But uh, there are stations. When I look at the list of uh, international, of, of radio stations, uh, I can see that this band is used. So there's lots of stations in uh, there's South America. There's some, a few stations in Asia. Uh, so, um, also Australia, so I think it's uh, something worth uh, probably tuning around from time to time. You'll never know what you'll listen to. Uh, of course, this is a low frequency band, so what's happening is that propagation is usually a very short distance. Uh, it's not much higher than the uh, medium wave band, so it's, um, you know, 500 to 1000 kilometers usually. But of course, with stronger signals, it can make farther away. So uh, this was a look at the 120 meter uh, international broadcast band, which is mostly for tropical region. So um, hope you enjoyed this uh, look at a shortwave radio band and 73s.